coming around into the start area. Gary Jeffs and David King on the front and it's David King who jumps straight into the lead from Gary Jeffs. Now Chris Whiting is looking for a way through as is Graham Gillespie on the outside of Eric Lavender but Eric Lavender moves up high on the track blocking uh, Graham Gillespie allowing uh, Neil Gillespie to shoot through into fifth spot. We're coming around to complete lap one and it's David King who leads from Gary Jeffs, Chris Whiting and Eric Lavender touching wheels there. Nothing uh, came of that so there's still uh, the field is intact as Neil Gillespie pulls into the infield with mechanical trouble. trouble. But uh, the field now is starting to spread out. Graham Edmund coming with a big rush from the rear of the field. Up on the outside of Chris Whiting now to try and move into fourth spot. And Barry Bundy's clear of a couple of slower cars. It is coming up also on Chris Whiting. And uh, if he gets clear, he'll certainly challenge the rest of this field. But forget David King, he's uh, spread eagle with the field at this stage. Graham Edmonds made up another position uh, going on the inside of Eric Lavender. And now we'll move up on the outside of Gary Jeffs to move into second position. He's got the power, he moves into second position, and he'll set sail now for David King. And he's pretty quick and I think you can get him with uh, six and a half laps to go. Gary Jeffs in third, then back to Eric Lavender. Chris Whiting, Barry Bundy now moving up on the outside of Chris Whiting to move into fifth. Then back to Graham Gillespie, then John Lawler and at the rear of the field is Terry Hopwood. But down the back goes David King under the coke timer with five and a half to go. And he's driving pretty well. Graham Ebben gives the boot uh, to the car and he picks up a few yards there on David King. But we'll need to uh, get the let out if he's in any hope of uh, catching David. Now Barry Bundy moves up into the third, uh, moving up on the outside of Gary Jeffs. Chris Whiting is in fifth position, then back to Graham Gillespie. Terry Hopwood's moved up on the outside of John Lawler, and John Lawler brings up the rear as Eric Lavender pulls into the middle. David King still leads Graham Edmund, but that gap's closing very, very quickly. Barry Bundy in third and back to Gary Jeffs. But the race now will be centred on the leaders as David King leads from Graham Edmund as they come down, completing another lap with three to go. Edmund has still got three laps to be able to catch David King and I think he can do that. Barry Bundy will make it interesting too if he can uh, latch onto these two. Gary Jeff said he's had enough and he pulls into the infield, allowing Graham Gillespie to go up on the outside of uh, Chris Whiting. But Chris Whiting fights back and maintains fourth position. But David King, two laps to go. Graham Evan now is certainly within striking distance. Barry Bundy can't latch onto these two at this stage, although uh, Graham Evan lost it on the turn two there and lost a little bit of distance. But now he comes back at David King. Back to the minus and Terry Hopwood has moved through to the field to move into fourth position. And John Lawler has moved up a couple too. Now the race really is centred on the leaders win the final lap as David King and Graham Edmund settle down to fight. Edmund down the inside and grabs David King. Has he grabbed David King? They come together. Both cars are held together. King on the inside. In infield grabs a little bit of distance and we'll get the chequered flag. Yes! The 29 of David King from the 12 of Graham Edmund. Then the 54 of Barry Bundy. Terry Hopwood in the number six car will come home in fourth. And then the 21 of John Lawler. Then back to Graham Gillespie in the 28 of Chris Whiting was the only other one to complete the course. So a good win there to David King in the time of three minutes, 05.944. So David drove a very good race. Graham Eben trying a little bit hard on uh, turn three and couldn't quite get him on that final lap, but a good drive indeed to David King and uh, a consistent drive too. Oh, gee, he's one of the most improved drivers, I think, this season in the um, hot rod ranks. David King and he deserves a good round of applause because he has shown some tremendous improvement that was mixing it with the big guys there and I can remember him being back in the improvers class uh, only last year so he did well towards the end of the season and then stepping up into the big guys he's proving just